we've got another um, lab in the file upload vulnerabilities section. This one's practitioner level um, and it's a web shell upload via path traversal. So it tells us that this, this lab contains a vulnerable image upload function. The server is configured to prevent execution of user supplied files, but this restriction can be bypassed by exploiting a secondary vulnerability. To solve the lab, upload a basic PHP web shell and use it to extract the contents of the file home Carlos secret. So that's what we're going to go ahead and try and do now. Click on access the lab. My account. Enter the usual credentials. Password Peter. Make sure you're proxying the traffic through burp. First thing we want to do is upload uh, an image file. So I'm going to choose this one here. So JPG, upload. The file avatars happy.jpg has been uploaded. Back to your account. Then move over to burp. And you should have a get request associated with that upload. You see here, web shell upload. This get request. Move down here. Right click and send that to repeater. Um, right, so the next thing we want to do is you want to create your um, PHP script. I did that earlier, so I've done it in a notepad. Uh, you get the PHP script from here in the solutions. So you just want to right click that and copy. Uh, open a notepad and paste it into there. Save that as. Make sure you save that as a PHP file dot PHP. Um, then we're going to upload that script to here. So choose file. Double click the exploit. Upload. And it confirms the file exploit dot PHP has been uploaded. Go back to your account. Again, over to burp. Um, right, so in repeater, um, let's have a look at the response there. Right, so we want to change this to the following files forward slash avatars forward slash and then the name of your malicious PHP script exploit.php send that off you'll get a response a 200 OK response and you see here that's the contents of the PHP file so rather than executing the file the server's just thrown it back at us uh, in plain text so it's not executing the file so what we want to do now is go back to the HTTP history and we're going to find the post request this time associated with our upload of the script. So we should have how many we've got? We've got two or three in here. We don't want that one. So we've got the post my account avatar. Now that seems to be the upload of the image. You can find out if you just scroll down here, it says content disposition happy JPG. So that was the post request associated with the image upload, which means this one should be the post request associated with the upload of the PHP file. Scroll down here to content um, disposition and you see exploit.php. So that's the one we want. Right click, send to repeater. Over in repeater, now we want to scroll down here in this request back to content disposition and we're going to add the traversal characters to the file path. So after file name equals and then the quotation marks there, you want to do dot dot and a forward slash uh, and then send that off. Right. And what we notice in the response is that the dot dot forward slash is not there. Uh, which tells us that the server is extracting or removing that um, and not allowing, basically preventing us from traversing the directory. 
So we can get around that if we URL encode <coughs> this forward slash. So normally if this was a big uh, sort of um, string like that, you could just right click and copy the whole thing. But because here we've, we've only got, um, we only have to URL encode a forward slash, you can go straight over to decoder, did this earlier, but um, put in the forward slash, you go to encode as URL, and you see what it gives us back is the percentage to F. So TTRLC to copy that, move back to, um, sorry, back to the repeater. And we're going to substitute that for the forward slash. So CTRLV to paste that in. So you see here we've got the percentage, we've got the 2 and we've got the F. So that's URL encoded the, the forward slash. Um, now we send that off and you see now it's returned with the dot dot forward slash um, indicating that we have traversed the directory. To confirm this go back to the HTTP history. Um, okay uh, let's not forget the step you've got to go back to your um, account press my account just to refresh this page and then find the get request associated with what we've just done, which is that you see the dot dot percentage sign 2f exploit. Um, and the response to that get request should contain the secret key. So you want to right click that copy, submit solution, paste that into there. And you've solved the lab.